today and um, today we're going to do lesson one of term two for grade five so firstly in the right hand side corner you will see the links to the worksheet in the dbe book um, it will be then worksheet 25a and 25b let me quickly show you so um, these worksheets you can also do with this lesson i'm um, going back to the lesson the first part gives you the introduction of the caps um, then we have our resources um, we have our dictionary for today, um, and then what we have is we have our mental maths. So the mental mathematics, you can quickly pause the video, and then you can ask the learner to fill in the answers. So let them fill in the answers, or if you don't have a worksheet, what they can do is um, they can write down the answers, or you can just ask it, and they can give the answers to you orally. Um, so it's time now to pause and you can quickly do this activity. Well done. Um, I hope you marked it and quickly see what you got. Um, remember we do mental mathematics at the beginning of each lesson to keep us mentally fit. So let's go to the introduction of the lesson. So the introduction of the lesson we're going to look at whole numbers and what we're going to do is we're going to count in whole numbers, we're going to compare and order whole numbers, we're going to look at place value and rounding off. You've been doing this now for the last year um, in grade 5 and 4, um, you are already started in grade 1 looking at things like place value. So let's start then with the lesson. So we're first going to look at these number lines. So if you look at the number lines, there is a number that's circled, 22,008. So what number is before that? So the number before that is 22,006 and the number after that is 22,010. But let's look at the last digit or the last two digits. It's a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and a 12. So what do we do? We count here in 2. So the intervals um, are 2 um, and the difference between this number, the number before and the number after will then be 2. So let's look at the next example, 55,021. The number before that is 55,018, and the number after that is 55,024. Here again, we look at the last two digits, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. So what do we notice? That we're counting in threes. So the difference between the one number to the next number will then be three. Let's look at 99,785. Can you see what's the difference between the number before and the number after that? Let's go back and we look at the last two digits again. 55, 60, 75, 80, 85, 90. Yes, so the difference between it is 5. Let's look at this one. 88,033. The number before that is 88,023, and the number after that is 88,043. So if we look at the last two digits, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, uh, most of the time when you read it or you count it and say it loud, you quickly see that the difference is 10. Then we look at the next example, 77,100. Now look at the two digits here, 75, and after that, 125. So let's start here. We're going to look at 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. So we see the difference between this number and that one, and this number and that number is then 25. So let's look at the last one. So we can't look at the last two digits because we've got 24, 24, 24. So we need to look at the last three digits. 324, 424, 524, 624. What do you notice? Yes, that's correct. We are counting in hundreds. So let's move to the next activity. That is then um, example number two. So we're going to look at bigger as, smaller as, and equals. So after my explanation, I want you to pause this activity. You're going to take them two numbers. You're going to write it next to each other, leave a space between them, and you're going to make up five of these. So for instance, 
55,377 and next to it 55,376. This number is bigger than that one. So what you're going to place between these two numbers is a bigger as because the the opening of the symbol, the bigger the side that's open will show to the bigger number, and the opening that is where there's no opening will show to the smaller number. Do about five of these. Then the next step you're going to do, you're going to do two different other two different activities. You're going to do ascending and descending order. Ascending means you're going to write these numbers from the smallest to the biggest. And descending means you're going to write it from the biggest to the smallest. So it's time to pause now and do this activity. Well done and welcome back. Let's look at example number three. So why are some of the numbers in red and others in blue? Yes, we see that the blue numbers are all even numbers. Because if we look at the top row, it ends on a 2, a 4, a 6, a 8, and a 10. And if you look down the column, all these numbers ends on a 2. So all the blue numbers are the even numbers. And all the red numbers are the odd numbers. So we're going to look at these place value cards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly cover them. So I just want to cover these numbers. So if we look at the flawed cards, then 90,000 plus 3,000 plus 5,000 plus 80 plus 9, what will the answer be? The answer will be then 93,589. So I want you to pause here. And what you need to do is for each row, you just need to write the answer. So it's time to pause this activity. Welcome back. Now I'm going to remove the, the block and what you will see is the answers. Quickly check yours and mark it. The last example we're going to do, it's rounding off. So the first one is rounding four off to the nearest 10. So if we round off to the nearest 10, we're first going to ask between which two tens will we find four? And we will say 4 is between 0 and 10. So any number that's 4 and smaller, that ends on the 4 or smaller, the last digit, will go to the previous 10. And then any number that where the last digit is a 5 to a 9 will go to the next 10. So let's look at the example around 58 off to the nearest 10. So 58 is between 50 and 60, between those two 10s. So here is 58. So if we round it off, it will go to the nearest 60. What happens if we round off to the nearest 100? That's correct. We're first going to ask ourselves, between which two hundreds will we find 250? So it will be between 200 and 300. So 250 will then go to the nearest 300. Let's look at the next example. Round 7,000 off to the nearest 10,000. So the first thing I need to ask is between which two 10,000s will I find 7,000? And it will be between 0 and 10,000. 7,000, we're then going to round off to the nearest 10,000. Let's take now a real big number. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at 60,000. So the first thing is we see that we need to ask to round it off to the nearest 100,000. So 60,000 will be between which two 100,000s? It will be between 0 and 100,000. So you will take then 60,000 and round it off to 100,000. It's now time to do some work on our writing books. So you can use the DBE book. And you will see here's the DBE, the worksheet number and the questions that you can do. Or you can complete the SA teacher worksheets. Here are examples of the questions in the lesson plans. But in our worksheet book, there's enough space provided where you can just fill in the answers. 
if you're done with the worksheet, please don't skip the problem solving. Always do the problem solving. Um, it keeps us fit. It keeps us mentally fit, but it also helps us to become problem solvers. Then in the extra activities, these are questions that's all coming from old exam papers. Previously, there was tests like the ANA test, um, things that's coming from out of the Olympiad test um, that the learners can do as well. Please also try not to skip this extra activities. Then remediation for those learners that struggled a bit. We've got an activity that they can do. So just to see, um, to help them to understand then what's place value. Then lastly, the consolidation. Here it's very important that you re uh, read through every question or statement. And what you say is yes or no. If your child, if you can answer yes to all of them, the child is ready to carry on to the next worksheet. If you have a few no's, you need to redo some of the activities or you can contact us at SA Teacher.